To post standards, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Syracuse Post Standard. How do you hear me? We have you loud and clear. What's it like to wake up in, a, in space every morning? The funniest thing that happens to me is I'm just wildly disoriented. You know, I've been sleeping in this vertical chamber. I wake up every morning just thinking I'm in some different orientation upside down and I have to reach for something and grab it to get orientation. But waking up and feeling you're completely upside down all the time is, is super fascinating. It's odd to not have a really an up or down. So you wake up kind of just disoriented almost every day, but then you realize you're in space and it's awesome. I enjoy um, kind of sinking in and really getting the feeling that we actually live here. This is our home. We take care of it. We're compatriots in this. And, you know, we live and work together. And I, I love that feeling. I really love just going to the cupola and taking pictures out various windows. They're just incredible sights to see. We've been practicing flips in space. And so just learning to move is a new thing, too, because every time you change your position, Matt, would you go upside down for us? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because any way is up. I mean, you're still kind of acclimating because it doesn't matter which way you're standing, that's up for you. Matt, you have two young daughters. What are they curious about when they talk to you? They want me to play. They want me to do flips. Uh, my youngest daughter is always saying, Dad, play with the water. Show me the water stuff. Blow bubbles in the water. They, every now and then, like to show it off a little bit. You know, if I call down and one of their friends is there, we have a quick chat. Can you tell us about the experiments that you're working on right now? We are the experiment. The humans in space are the experiment. Any science researcher would understand that it's all about increasing sample size. And the more humans we can get in orbit, the more we can understand what happens to the human body for long duration spaceflight. Some people argue that humans should focus on solving problems here on Earth and rather than waste you know, resources on going back to the moon, uh, let alone Mars one day. What do you say to them? The amount of money that we spend on this resource as a government is incredibly, incredibly small in terms of the national budget. It's a fraction of 1%. The U.S. government or governments around the world for that matter, Five. the fraction of a budget they spend on spaceflight and research and exploration is investing in the future. Because if you only spent money on the status quo, you'd never advance or never go further. So we are just a tiny fraction that's investing in the future of humanity.